Now, WGEM Sports with Sports Director Tony Cornish Jr. Day three of the four-day Rumble on the River High School Basketball Tournament continue this evening at John Wood. The third game on the Thursday schedule features senior Sydney Hummert and those undefeated Lady Raiders of Q&D taking on South Shelby at the Woodpile. Q&D head coach Eric Orn had the Lady Raiders running early against South Shelby. Early first, Q&D's Maddie Peters finds Sydney Hummert down low for the easy two. Q&D up seven zip, all from Miss Hummert there. She finished with 17 on the night. More Q&D, Abby Shrek with the pump fake. She drives baseline and gets the pretty left-hander to fall. Q&D up double digits. South Shelby coach Luke Olaflin talking things over with his team out of the timeout. Miranda Peterson finds Kaylee Gaines in the corner for the open three to put South on the board. Still in the first, Abby Shrek goes behind the back, drives baseline, and goes off the glass for two. Are you kidding me? She led all scores with 18. Q&D defense was big tonight. Blair F. Tink picks up the pass and goes uncontested for the hoop for that nice score. Final after four at John Wood when it's all said and done. Q&D rolls to a 61 to 21 victory over South Shelby. On the boys hardwood, the Indians of Payson Seymour tipped off against South Shelby at JWCC as well. First quarter, Payson's Lucas Luce drives and kicks it out deep to Cole Schwartz who drills the three. Payson up four early. More from the loose Schwartz combo coming up here. This time Schwartz spots up from the other side of the floor for the deep trifecta. Part of his 24 point effort on the night. South Shelby not giving up. Schwartz with the back door cut here, but Guy Timbrook with the big block out of bounds. Then on the other end, South Cole Cole Mitchell will drive down the left side and gets the layup to fall, cutting the pace and lead down just a bit. Pace and though answers with great ball movement. Hayden Hildebrand ends up driving down the middle and gets the floater to fall. That's pretty. Two of his 10 points. Pace's defense would then step up just a bit. Guy Timbrook drives and is blocked big time by Connor Earhart there. Pacing up 22 to 6 after the first quarter. Your final after four in this one. Payson takes home a 67 to 28 victory over South Shelby. Now, no games on the Friday schedule at the Rumble. But action will roll on this Saturday with nine. That's right, I said nine games on the schedule. Game one for all you high school hoop fans out there will get underway at 9 a.m. Meanwhile, checking in on scores, Clark County gets by Life Academy earlier today at the Rumble. Nice rally by the Lady Indians. They come back strong, get the W. They're now 7-2 and two on the season. Never give up. Meanwhile, Pittsville Griggsville gets a big win over Brussels tonight. 64 to 12 was that final. Also, Brown County picks up a 53-31 win on the ladies' hard court as well over North Green. Illini West, Carly Artman, 18-point effort as the Lady Chargers get by North Fulton, 53 to 18. Meanwhile, the Lady Chargers are now 10 and 2 on the season. Havana, Rushville Industry were also in action. Havana gets the 61 to 13 win over the Lady Rockets. Central Lee's Maya Mersman, what a night. 41 point effort sets a new school record and uh, yeah, Central Lee gets the win over Cardinal big time. Also Bowling Green Lady Cats beat Mark Twain 42 to 31 tonight as well. Meanwhile, CSE gets by North Hancock 47 to 39 in girls action. Also the ladies from Unity, uh, they fall to Canton tonight. 58 to 50 was that fine on the boys side. Unity, well, they pick up the win against Canton 65-61 was your final there. Meanwhile, on the college hardwood at Pepsi Arena, the five and three Hawks of QU. Well, let's just say they wanted to start their Christmas break off on a winning note tonight. And to do that, well, it meant that the home team had to, of course, post a victory against those visiting Tigers from Iowa Wesleyan Hawks head coach Ryan Hellenthal and his staff. Well, they were certainly in the Christmas spirit tonight as QU was trying to lock down their third win in a row at home like that sweater coach. Hawks get sloppy here and the Tigers almost come up with a steal, but it's QU's Aziz Fadiga that will get the hoop as he tracks down loose ball in the paint. Hawks up by six at that point. Watch QU in transition. Charles Collier will benefit. He'll net the wraparound under the hoop with ease. Hawks are rolling on offense, and, but, uh, you know, coaches, they always want to see more, especially during a holiday break. Want to make sure their team is sharp and on point, and coaches' wishes were answered. Tanner Stuckman grabs a rebound and nets the hoop in the paint right here for an easy deuce. That was two of his nine points all the night. Hawks led 60 to 23 of the halftime break. Your final, when this one is all said and done at Pepsi Arena, Hawks soared to a big 
115 to 54 victory over the Tigers of I. W.U. 115 points tonight. Not bad. Adam Moore led Q.U. with 13 points. Hawks shot over 69% from the field and over 53% from three point range. Q.U. also out rebounded the Tigers 54 to 20. Can you spell domination? Meanwhile, another college action going on this evening and women's action at the Compass Challenge in DeKalb. Southern Illinois gets by, yeah, the Lady Leathernecks, Western Illinois. They lose tonight, 79 to 65 is your final there. Sophomore Evan Zars, 13 points, 10 rebounds in the setback. In the NAIA ranks, the Trojans of Hannibal LaGrange fall to defeat on both the women's and men's hardwood in Henderson, Tennessee tonight. The men's team is now one and nine on the season, while the Lady Trojans, well, they check in at two and nine. Meanwhile, the college football ranks in Champaign, finding Illini head coach Lovey Smith announced earlier today that 12 student athletes signed on to head to Illinois to continue their careers on the gridiron during the early signing period. Now, six of those players are from the talent rich state of Florida and three hail from the St. Louis area. That's a big recruiting coup for the fighting Illini. Smith and his staff also have one player coming in from California, one from North Carolina and one from the state of Georgia as well. That's SEC country. Meanwhile, the class has balanced with one quarterback coming in and five more offensive players. They they all signed along with six defensive players. That includes five young men that will play on that D line for the Fighting Illini and one linebacker as well. And QND head basketball coach Kevin Meyer will join Ryan and Brock. Those are my guys on WGM Sports Center tomorrow morning. You want to check this show out, folks. Coach Meyer will, of course, bring us all up to date on the Raiders as they get ready to face Camp Point Central on Friday evening on the road. And then, of course, on Saturday, uh, yeah, that crosstown rivalry is on the schedule. Now the show, it gets started at 7 a.m. on WGM Sports Radio. That's ESPN 1440. Say it with me, 98.9. That's a wrap for sports. We'll be back after this.